will be defending the fabled clock end here against Arsenal. They may well only have a conscious chance of doing that, but they have a chance. Can they strike and strike early for a result that would send shockwaves around the footballing world? Robinson gets it back. Thomas then will cross left-footed. The ball swings high into the penalty area. The Gunners retain possession as Zinchenko, the Ukraine international, works it wide to Martinelli again. Often the outlet in the opening five minutes of the match. He shimmies over the ball, evades the two in grey of Sheffield United. Now Rice. Rice scored against Chelsea last weekend. Shoots, blocked by the legs of Robinson. Robinson gets back quickly corner then to the Gunners Martinelli goes over to take it referee Robinson blows his whistle into the penalty area it goes it will drop all the way through Martinelli who's closed down by Bogle but Martinelli keeps the ball at his feet a little shimmy from him just on the edge of the 18 yard box Inchenko makes a run to the dead ball line interesting stuff but in the end as he tried to cut it back he didn't make the cleanest of contacts and beaten Arsenal in the Premier League. Winless Sheffield United and it's goalless as Harmer sends a swirling diagonal free kick into the penalty area which outrushing David Raya grabs in the That's air and immediately boots it long. Martinelli's on it but it's he's uh, overrun by Blades defenders until they get Saka involved. Lovely turn in the box until Ben Slimani gets back. Wide it goes to McAtee driving up to the corner of the penalty area. He shoots the diving Smith Rowe blocks. It goes up in the air partially cleared away. At the minute we're just seeing the Arsenal backline pass it amongst themselves with a wall of grey in front of them. And here's Saka now, finally the penetrate a little bit here and find Saka in an attacking position. Now Rice, Rice will get his cross in, it's a low one, it's awkward, it's in Ketia! And just like that, Arsenal cut open Sheffield United. One pass to Saka, he found Rice, he found Nketiah, 1-0 Arsenal. Norwood looks up, in his uh, grey shirt and shorts, red socks. Now he'll play it in low. Good ball in towards Ben Slimani, he will find Hamer. Hamer in a good position here, chance for a cross. It's going to come off Ben White. Here's Saliba, Saliba's ball over the top, so good ones. Zinchenko runs on. A tackle from Trusty, but behind. Here comes the corner from the left, it's taken short. Played backwards to Zinchenko. Not really sure what Arsenal's plan was with that corner. They give it to Zinchenko, now Smith Rowe in towards Saka. Saka has got Martinelli on the edge of the box, beats one, shoots! Palmed away by Wes Fodderingham for a corner past that right-hand post. The corner will be taken right in front of the Sheffield United fans. This time the corner comes in, it's dangerous. Someone was sliding in there, I think it might have been trying to get a touch on it, but it's uh, worked its way over towards this near side and this corner flag on the right. Now Saka into a central position for Zinchenko, he looks for the return for Saka. Cut out by Sheffield United, Zinchenko again edge of the box will shoot. Ambitious effort is blocked. Hamer clears, over towards Martinelli, Martinelli teases forward, goes on the outside too easily, now can pull it back, shot comes in, and it wrong-footed the keeper from Smith-Rowe, it's headed away, corner from the right, Martinelli raises his right arm, crosses it in, Fodrigham's had a bit of a flap at that one, but he got just enough on it, United get into the box here with Brewster lurking, this is in the last seconds of the half, headed forward by United again, and there is a clearance from Arsenal and a half-time whistle, Referee Tim Robinson gets the uh, second half off and underway. Emil Smith Rowe uh, plays the free kick low into the penalty area. Eddie and Ketia inside right channel of the box, tried to centre the ball, looking for Kai Havertz. The uh, grey shirts mark up on the red of Arsenal with the uh, white sleeves. It's 1 0 to the Gunners. In comes Saka's corner, high into the penalty area. Fodderingham's come for it, and Ketia! And it's smashed! Across the face of goal and past West Fodringham, who flapped at the corner, and Eddie and Ketia was waiting to pounce. And it's cold red for Sheffield United as Arsenal extend their lead at the start of this second half. Eddie and Ketia at the double, and it's Arsenal 2, Sheffield United 0. It's Rice, direct ball hit with pace into the feet of Bakayo Saka. He glances past Robinson and the shot goes into the side netting. There is often this talk about whether Arsenal need a figurehead uh, leading their attack because it's not always Jesus. Well, maybe it's going to be uh, Eddie Nketiah. Here's Emil Smith Rowe as Arsenal come again. And what a goal from Eddie Nketiah. 25 yards out. He just took aim and that flew.
like an Exocet missile into Wes Fodringham's top left-hand corner to secure the hat-trick for Eddie and Ketia, and with that, three points for the Gunners. No way back for Sheffield United from here. They've been completely outclassed by second-gear Arsenal, who now lead by three goals to nil. Martinelli from a looped clearance gets to the dead ball line, takes on Souza, in it goes, edge of the box, White! Brilliant save, brilliant save by West Fodringham. Leandro Trossard, who always seems to score off the bench, will arrive soon too as Harmer bends in the free kick. Rising McAtee, beaten in the air by the hat-trick hero Eddie Nketiah. It will drop to Osborne, floated ball on the angle to the edge of the penalty area. Rising unchallenged to head it clear, White, here is White again. Leandro Trossard with the blonde highlights takes control of the ball in the centre circle, weaving his way to the far side. Arsenal through Saka, refinding their stride. Saka turns in field, toe prodded into Trossard. Trossard now dead ball line. Can he fashion a cross here? No, he's forced to wriggle back to Saka, digs it out of his feet. Back to Declan Rice here. Cries of shoot from some of the Gunners fans around us here. Chipped over the top, Tommy Asu, dead ball line, following up. Trossard waiting to volley it, but there was a blade's foot in the way. Just as Leandro Trossard was getting set to shoot, there was an intercepting bit of cover. Here's Saka. Saka over towards Trossard, who will try and uh, get in on the act here as he teases to go on the outside, cuts back inside. Havertz crosses it in, cleared away by the Blades. 20 minutes to go. Smith Rowe's cross, punched away by Fodderingham. And the ref's seen a foul in there on the goalkeeper. Trossard again on the left. He just uh, holds on to it by the touchline. Oh, he sends. Osborne into the other the part of London there with that little dummy and it's crossed in here. Chance headed away, comes to the edge of the box, shot driven in. As the second half has been played out, they missed one of the goals. There's a good tackle, I thought, from uh, Norwood, but the Arsenal fans have all got up here, appealing for a penalty. But I thought he won the ball there. It could be a pen, that. Yeah. I think he's caught That's him there, but this is going to be a penalty. Yeah. Vieira to make it 4-0 for Arsenal. He steps back, it'll be a left-footed penalty, Wes Fodderingham stands in his way. Vieira steps forward and rolls it down the middle. Fodderingham dived to his right. It's an emphatic scoreline now for Arsenal. They lead by four goals to nil and Sheffield United still winless. Free kick for United, Osborne and Norwood stand over it. Osborne runs over it, Norwood will cross this one in. It's lifted into the box, headed into the air off an Arsenal man, United try and shield it for a corner, but then when that doesn't work, it's uh, played backwards here, now Osborne, Osborne to Baldock again, Baldock forced backwards to Norwood, Norwood will chip it towards the far side, controlled, crossing opportunity here for United from One, but it's gone behind for a corner, corner lifted in here, and caught by the keeper, back to Enketia here, Enketia with a chance, his shot is blocked, and it's a corner, so here comes the corner from the right-hand side, whipped into the near post, flicked on, and United will shoot towards goal, and Arsenal have got another. It's Tommy Yasu, the substitute, who turns and shoots low into the goal, and it gets worse for Sheffield United in the rain here at the Emirates. It's now 10 without a win for the Blades, rooted to the bottom of the table. Oh dear, Arsenal 5, Sheffield United 0. Nelson will continue his run, he leaves it for Zinchenko, he slips it down the line, here's a chance for another, smashed into the side netting by Havertz, there is the full-time whistle, so it's finished 5-0 here at the Emirates.